Chapter 19 The second lot came out for Simeon, for the tribe of the people of Simeon, according to their clans, and their inheritance was in the midst of the inheritance of the people of Judah. And they had for their inheritance Beersheba, Sheba, Molada, Hazar Shual, Bela, Ezem, Eltolad, Bethel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Labaoth, and Saruan, thirteen cities with their villages. Aen, Rimon, Ether, and Ashan, four cities with their villages, together with all the villages around these cities, as far as Baaleth Beer, Ramah of the Negeb. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Simeon according to their clans. The inheritance of the people of Simeon formed part of the territory of the people of Judah. Because the portion of the people of Judah was too large for them, the people of Simeon obtained an inheritance in the midst of their inheritance. The third lot came up for the people of Zebulun according to their clans, and the territory of their inheritance reached as far as Sarid. Then their boundary goes up westward and on to Mariel and touches Dabasheth, then the brook that is east of Jokneam. From Sarid it goes in the other direction, eastward toward the sunrise to the boundary of kislath Tabor. From there it goes to Dabarath, then up to Jephiah. From there it passes along the east toward the sunrise to gath Hefer, to Ethkazan, and going on to Rimon it bends toward Nea. Then in the north the boundary turns about to Hanathan, and it ends at the valley of Iftahel, and Kadath, Nahalal, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the people of Zebulun according to their clans, these cities with their villages. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, for the people of Issachar according to their clans. Their territory included Jezreel, Keseloth, Shunem, Hapharaim, Shion, Anaharath, Rabbath, Kishion, Ebez, Remeth, Inganim, Inhada, Beth Pazes. The boundary also touches Tabor, Shehazuma, and Beth Shemesh, and its boundary ends at the Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Issachar, according to their clans, the cities with their villages. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of the people of Asher, according to their clans. Their territory included Helkath, Heli, Beaton, Akshaf, Elamelech, Amad, and Mishal. On the west it touches Carmel and Shihar Libnath. Then it turns eastward, it goes to Beth Dagon, and touches Zebulun and the valley of Iftahel, northward to Beth Emek and Neil. Then it continues in the north to Cable. Ebron, Rehob, Hamon, Cana, as far as Sidon the Great. Then the boundary turns to Ramah, reaching to the fortified city of Tyre. Then the boundary turns to Hosa, and it ends at the sea. Maalab, Akzib, Uma, Aphek, and Rehob, twenty-two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Asher according to their clans, these cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out for the people of Naphtali, for the people of Naphtali according to their clans. And their boundary ran from Heleph, from the oak and Zaananim, and Adama and Nekeb, and Jabneel, as far as Lachem, and it ended at the Jordan. Then the boundary turns westward, to Asnoth Tabor, and goes from there to Hukuk, touching Zebulun at the south, and Asher on the west, and Judah on the east at the Jordan. The fortified cities are Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Kinnereth, Adama, Ramah, Hazor, Kidesh, Adriai, in Hazor, Yeron, Migdal El, Horam, Beth Anath and Beth Shemesh, nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Naphtali according to their clans, the cities with their villages. The seventh lot came out for the tribe of the people of Dan according to their clans, and the territory of its inheritance included Zorah, Eshtiol, Yershemesh, Shealabim, Ijalon, Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, Altika, Gibbethon, Baalath, Jehud, Benebarak, Gathrimon, and Mejarkon and Rakon with the territory over against Joppa. When the territory of the people of Dan was lost to them, the people of Dan went up and fought against Leshem, and after capturing it and striking it with the sword, they took possession of it and settled in it, calling Leshem Dan, after the name of Dan their ancestor. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Dan according to their clans, these cities with their villages. When they had finished distributing the several territories of the land as inheritances, the people of Israel gave an inheritance among them to Joshua the son of Nun, by command of the Lord they gave him the city that he asked, Timnasira, in the hill country of Ephraim. And he rebuilt the city and settled in it. These are the inheritances that Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel distributed by lot at Shiloh before the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So they finished dividing the land. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman who had had a disabling spirit for eighteen years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your disability. 
and he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and she glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, said to the people, There are six days in which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. Then the Lord answered him, You hypocrites! Does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger, and lead it away to water it? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? As he said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the people rejoiced at all the glorious things that were done by him. He said, therefore, What is the kingdom of God like, and to what shall I compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his garden, and it grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air made nests in its branches. And once again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour, until it was all leavened. Hello and welcome to Bible Time, today chapter 19 of Joshua. As we saw that seven tribes were not given the land until chapter 18, where we saw one of the tribe gets the land. It was the tribe of Benjamin. Joshua had given the land to Benjamin, and the rest of the tribe will be given the portion of the land in chapter 19. The tribe of Simeon, the tribe of Zubalon, tribe of Iskar, tribe of Asher, and Naphtali, and the tribe of Dan. All the inheritance was given to all the tribes of Israel. And also Joshua inherited the land, Timrah, Sarah, in the hill countries of Ephraim. And the priests, the Eleazar, also occupied along with Joshua. So all the tribes are now inherit their land as a promise by the Lord. Now Luke chapter 13 verse 10 through 21. In the synagogue, Jesus heals a woman who was ill because of the evil spirit. And this displeased the leaders of the synagogue because it was done on Sabbath. Any other days will be fine, but on Sabbath is not the right day to be healed. And Jesus said to them, You are hypocrites. You take your flocks and feed them water on Sabbath. And you have a problem of healing a person on Sabbath? Really? They were shamed by all people and and the people rejoice and glorious thing that Jesus has done. So Jesus told a parable of what the kingdom of God is like. The first he described it as a mustard seed. That mustard small seed will grow to be a tree and the birds make their nest and they come to rest. And second parable was the yeast. Yeast that is mixed with the flour, it puffs up and makes it huge that could feed many people. The point of this parable is that the kingdom of God is small, is very insignificant, but also is powerful and it grows, it expands and benefits so many and impacts so many others. So you can see, like our faith in God may be small and very insignificant, but it will grow and it will expand as you live by faith and one day it will impact and influence others to have peace with God it will benefit so many others that is what living as a kingdom person looks like let us pray Heavenly Father thank you for your word we know that sometimes our faith is so small so insignificant but I know that God you will cause it to grow in our life that it would expand and we would see wondrous things your work in our life and that Lord that so many people will be benefit from our faith in you. So Father, use us for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.